It's okay. <laughs> I did the color run this morning. It didn't come off in the shower. <laughs> All right. And my name is Alec Boardman. I'm a senior from Millard South High School. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And I'd like to issue a trigger warning for eating disorders and fat phobia. This is my poem titled, My Big Fat Apology. If I was in a sitcom, I'd be the comic relief. My problems would be a punchline. If forced to exercise, I'd sweat and pant until I passed out flat on set. And I'd always be shown with something to eat. I wouldn't answer my friends until finishing an extra large Slurpee. And if I'm not eating, I'd be sleeping. Because what else does a fat person do? And I would snore in the middle of the skinny character's love confessions. But I'm sweating because my brain can't think fast enough about what to say or do next. Because I didn't eat breakfast this morning because just the walk to the stage would be too much for my heavy body to handle. And when I eat, I can't stop. I've had an eating disorder for, si for three years. I'm sorry. I swear I was planning to take my food home in a to-go box, but I blinked and it was gone. And when I told you, I was sorry. You smiled and said that was all right, but the look in, my, in your eyes told me to say sorry again. And not only am I fat, but I am trans, which for skinny cis people means that they get to wonder if my breasts grew from too much Christmas ham or if they came as a bonus gift when I was born with a vagina. And it's my fault for not wearing a binder, but finding one in my size while still being able to breathe is harder than coming in last when we ran the mile in gym class and changing the locker room is hell on earth because all the girls think I'm staring at them and I'm sorry, I swear I'm not checking you out. I'm just trying to put on oversized clothes to hide everything that makes you hate me so I can get out of here sooner. And I don't make eye contact in public because then the suburban moms in the healthy section of high B point at me with their stick-like fingers and tell their eight-year-old that this is what they're trying to prevent. And I guess you're welcome for having a living diagram. And I've tried diet and exercise. I ran a 3K before this competition, and I haven't eaten from McDonald's or any of its affiliates in six months. But no amount of sit-ups can burn the ice that you stuck into my self-confidence, freezing it at 30 degrees below zero. And I'm sorry that my hard work isn't enough for you. And I should not apologize for having a body as big as my heart, my brain, my voice, my passion, everything about me is big. And I'm not going to apologize for that anymore. Oh!